have things to talk about. So we're like putting like, hey, there's a nice person. There's a nice person. Let's put them together and see if they'll fight. So this is the lineup for day one, Thursday. Matt's Off-Road Recovery and Donut Media. James, I love you like a son, and you know that. You know that. So Caitlin from Matt's Off-Road Recovery, she's right there. She has teamed up with a lucky fan that won this whole thing. They're coming out here to compete, and Caitlin is their teammate. That's awesome. Next, we've got Robbie Layton Nation, or you might know him as the Blow, Tack, and Static Man, or I like to call him the Milk Man because he just milks them projects. This is me milking a cow. Mm. We're gonna be putting him up with the one and only Weston Chaplin. Unbelievable, I know. And then we have the original, the GOAT of YouTube off-road recovery content, Eric from BSF. He is going to be with Todd from Project Farm. I can't wait for these two to lose their tempers. And then have you guys seen the Peck Brothers? They're coming to the games. We are matching them up with Sean from Bikes and Beards. I think that's gonna be a really one. That's gonna be one to watch. Those guys are fun. Both of those guys know how to have a good time. We just found Lightbright's partner. It is Alex from Mr. Build It. We're gonna be bringing that Idaho boy down to Southern Utah and putting them together with Lightbright. The last competitor for day one is Bent Off Road and we are matching them up with Brent from Ghost Town Living. That's gonna be an awesome matchup too. Bent and Brent. So this team up is gonna be competing on day one and it's Craig from The Bearded Mechanic with Luna and Marlon from Off-Road and Chill. Put them together. Day two, man, it seems like the games are skewed in my favor here because Matt's Off-Road right here is going to be teamed up with one of the managers from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. We did a little thing with them where we were gonna take one of the O'Reilly staff they picked this guy, I don't even know who it is, but we're gonna get him through the trail. Might be a gal, I don't know. I don't know who it is. And then Caitlin from Moore is gonna be teamed up with Kendall Gray. That's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited. You guys are both just kids. Yeah. This is gonna be team kid. Hey, don't underestimate us. I'm not, I won't. Why would I do that? I hate losing. Caitlin, you might as well stay up here because I know you got something to say about this next one. The one, the only, Rory Irish, Trailmater YouTube, is partnered up with Laura Farms. This is gonna be a team to watch. <laughs> like if this was the only, if they're like, hey, there's no competitors, but but Rory and Laura Farms is gonna be running the trail. I'd watch that. Yep, I'd pay to watch that. Oh, the next one. I mean, all of these, I keep emphasizing some of these, but I really could emphasize all of them. <laughs> we got Bleepin' Jeep with Ed and Chris from Vinwicky. Next on the list, we've got Marvin from Flex Rocks and Rollovers. He is teamed up with Devin from Legal Legal. And this is gonna be like the odd couple. I mean, we've got <laughs> a lawyer who's like all about laws and regulations, and then we got Marvin who is he like- doesn't follow any of them. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. And we're loaning them the tangerine. You guys may have heard of Rudy from Rudy's Adventures and Designs. He is gonna be with Seth from Berm Peak. This is another one. Like, I'm so jealous of everybody that's getting to, to, to work with these cool people. Gonna be a bummer that I don't get to team up with Seth from Burn Peak. Gonna have to talk to Rudy about that. Nate from Dirt Lifestyle is gonna be teamed up with Scott from Driver 61. This is gonna be probably the most technical crew right there. Well, Rory and Laura Farms, I don't know what Laura's like, but I know that, I mean, Scott's a professional Formula One driver. Yeah. He's and, gonna be tortured having to go slow. Yeah, and Nate, oh, I don't know. I put him in the Morver once. How was that? He was very cautious and shaken. Like, I'm expecting an <laughs> F1 driver to be like, cool, like, ah, oh, that was nothing. But he's like, oh, man. Anyway, <laughs> and the last team for day two, we've got Holly from Mischief Maker TV, and we're gonna put her with Dan Markham from What's Inside. It's gonna be interesting to see these different YouTube personalities work together. I hope we got the tables right. I hope everybody got to sit by the person they wanted to. I know that I didn't. Well, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> James, O'Reilly's, love you both, but I wanna sit with everybody. Can't we just get a big round table and put everybody at it? So the way this is gonna work out is we are gonna take the best teams from day one and the best teams from day two and we are gonna put them back on the mountain for day three for the final showdown to see who the winner is and see who the first, second, third, fourth losers are. It's a lot of losers. That is a lot of losers. That mountain's gonna be covered with losers. The best thing about a mountain covered with losers is everyone's a winner. Everyone 
is a winner. I'll be handed that to all the winners. If you want to see your favorite competitors make it to the finals on Saturday, download our free app and vote for who you want to be there. Presented by Matt's Off-Road Recovery. I'm excited, my name is DJ. And I'm Colt with Colt Builds It, and we are here for the second year. Last year was the record games. They have changed it over to the off-road games. And we have, actually, it's kind of cool because now we're going to have off-road YouTubers, non-off-road YouTubers, and we're even going to have record competitions down at the beach this afternoon on the app. Yeah, it's a lot of fun here. We've got people commenting here on YouTube and obviously the app, Matt's Off-Road Recovery. And you can comment there, be part of this. But this event, Cold, is about the fans. It's about everybody coming out and having a good time. That's the, probably the best thing about this event. Last year, I was a judge. And... I found out real quick the competition has no rules. It's just like the rules are made up as you go. Well, this is going to be so much fun because this is going to be like a production no one has seen before. We've got cameras inside the cars. We've got cameras outside the cars. We even have drone footage that we're going to be seeing as well. And we've got us here in a nice warm studio because everyone else is out there freezing on Sand Hollow. <laughs> Yeah, it's not named Hurricane for nothing. <laughs> the uh, if if you're not local to this area, it's pronounced Hurricane because I th I was told that when the British came here, they came they're like, it's like a hurricane here, and, <laughs> yeah. and that's why it's Hurricane and not Hurricane. Now we've been told uh, apparently with the weather we could be seeing some rain, we could maybe seeing some snow, but we're definitely going to be seeing some wind out here at Sound Hollow. So this is going to be a fun three days of adventure. So make sure that everybody gets on and they got to vote for their favorites because only five groups are going to make it to the final day on Saturday. Yep, and those five groups are going to be voted by all of you at home. So whoever gets on the app, you can get on there. It's Matt's Off-Road Recovery. You can get it on iOS, on Android, and then I was even told maybe even Roku. And you just get on there and you vote for what team you want to win. And today we're going to go through all the teams. Uh, we have half of them today, half of them tomorrow, but we're going to see who... You know, who's going to do the best? And we'll give you run by Rudy. Well, we're going to be cutting to Matt here in just a second. And I'm interested to see because I've heard Matt has never worn a jacket a day in his life. But it's freezing out there at Sound Hollow. So is he going to be wearing a jacket? We'll, f we'll find out. Well, it is cold. If you are joining us here on YouTube, make sure you jump in, comment, let us know where you're following, let us know where you're watching, or if you're on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app, let us know there as well. So are we ready to send it out to Matt? I, I don't know. I hope so. I think we're Looks ready. Looks like him and James are ready to go. Let's send it out. Can you just give me like a good... Oh, oh, yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah. They might be having mic problems out there. It's okay, though. I can tell you a little bit about that Corvair. That's a 1961 Chevy Corvair Lakewood Wagon 700 series. It's dubbed the Morvair uh, for Matt's Off-Road Recovery, and it actually has a badge that I called it went four-wheeling together and it was called uh, I just said more very I don't care and then somebody actually made that badge so that's <laughs> actually on the back of that car are you getting a cut from that or what <laughs> no no not getting a cut from it but it it's a cool rig it's a super iconic rig especially in the YouTube world it's got a 5.3 LS turbo 400 uh, 205 T case with a new set of three to one gears in it which uh, the higher the number, the lower the gear ratio, the slower you're going to crawl. And it's got one-ton axles, uh, ORIs. It's, they even put XJ springs in the rear because they didn't have any... Uh, they, they, because they got famous with the banana, it's a, it's a Jeep Cherokee, so they put Cherokee springs in the back of that car. 
Well, we're going to see here if maybe we can get back to Matt here in just a second. Again, we're having a little bit of te technical difficulties because this is an unprecedented event, but we've never done anything like this before. I don't know anyone on YouTube that's done anything like this before. We probably have, I mean, look in here, what do you think, 15 cameras, 20 cameras? We've got oh, yeah. all of them in the cars. Like I said, we've got the drone. We've also got the cameras outside the cars. Yeah, this is definitely above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is super cool. The uh, yeah. James now James has actually been out here in Sand Hollow. So when we say non off road YouTubers, he has actually been out here with Matt before four wheeling. All right, so let's send it back into Matt. sure if it's picked him up yet but what I can tell you about James is when he was driving the Matt's wrecker he actually ended up uh, so that was the sky lost engine or lost uh, throttle and it throttled up and they almost wrecked and he was forced so to further your level out off. now your seatbelt should work Justin yeah. uh, advice here should we just go okay Okay, we're going. Okay, now this is the dirt portion. Go slightly left. That's too much. About right there. Now, James got in here a little late. He missed the meeting last night. He was trying to get here on time. So this is going to be fun for him. They've had zero practice together thanks for coming out uh, since they came out with the record Matt doesn't like to warn I don't know if you did I not say sky dirt <laughs> if you guys don't know who Donut Media enough. is you think, probably like, don't follow a whole like, lot of YouTube they got, showman, so they got you eight and like, some million subscribers like on their channel all right, we're coming up here on obstacle one. It's going to be Twin Peaks, sponsored by Onyx Off-Road. Yeah, the, I guess they named that after the TV show from the 90s, but the first the first peak is called Sky Dirt. First thing you're going to see is the sky, and then you're going to see the dirt. <laughs> yeah, we... We were, we didn't hit Twin Peaks yesterday, did we, Colt? Oh uh, yeah, no, we went down it backwards, actually. We took it, we, we went up, so I actually took you up this chute, and then we went down the trail backwards, so we just came down it. <laughs> It was my first time doing any type of off-roading, and if you've never been off-roading before, it may be one of the scariest things you've ever done for the first time, but I will say going down was scarier than going up the chute. Yeah, yeah most people most people don't understand that, I mean, going down, you do have gravity in your favor, but it's... Uh, yeah, it can get a little hair-raising. You don't have the same kind of control that you have trying to climb some. Now, it looks like there's no weather out there. I can tell that it's windy out at Sand Hollow, but I don't think it's raining or snowing. But temperature-wise, we're looking, let's see here, we're looking at about 44 degrees Fahrenheit just here at Sand Hollow. That's, that's fairly cold for Southern Utah at almost springtime. <laughs> Yeah, it's cold for me too. I'm from South Dakota where it would be a lot colder, but I've moved to New Mexico, so <laughs> I'm I'm getting becoming warm blooded real quick. Now once again, this event is all about the fans. As you can tell here, there are fans all around the tracks and this year they've got the flags showing the trails, keeping the fans at a safe distance and hopefully not distracting their favorite YouTubers out here. Well, I think as a YouTuber, we all get distracted pretty easy anyway. We're, we're like fish. We see something shiny, and we're just like, ooh, look. <laughs> hey, let's talk about some of our sponsors right now, like O'Reilly Auto Parts. Or how about Onyx Off-Road? You were telling me how, uh, how great Onyx Off-Road is. Yeah, I've been using the Onyx for a couple years now, and the cool thing about it is once you download the app, you can see all the trails, and they're always evolving. They're always allowing you to put, you know, you can work with them to do more trails, and and the they have a 3D mapping system that's um, pretty cool. It's, it, I don't know, it's hard. 
it's hard to explain without being able to show it but you can you can see a lot of really cool stuff and you have a lot, a lot more access you know where blm land is you know where national forest is you know where mining claims are so you can find a lot of really cool stuff on that app all right so we're watching james from donut here climb this and what do you think james is thinking right now you've said he's done this before yeah i don't know if he's gotten too big a climbs in that's a that's a lot of sky he just saw and when you're when you're climbing something like that all you see is hood you like you learned yesterday so you really don't know where your tires are you just hope you're there in the right spot now i'm wondering if we can get audio of the cars climbing people here on our youtube they're commenting wanting to hear the roar of the engine they want to hear the crowd and so we're going to see if we can get that audio over there at sand hollow yeah definitely and and you guys at home that are commenting on this live stream please keep doing that we're going to do our best to try to read through them and respond to you guys as we can and that more bear does sound nice it is a good sounding car yep. now once again you it's can so like right james come up front here all right let's see if we can check in here with matt you're in here Jeff. you're gonna have to jump in somebody's jeep jump in robbie's jeep Jumping to hold this. Okay. okay. Good. Yep. Yes. Uh, okay, just hard right. Somebody needs to tell James he should talk. <laughs> He's looking a little nervous in there. He is, he is Matt's son after all, so. Hey, Robbie's not even right chugging. That's the only one. Looks like Robbie is pulling in behind. Uh, right he can just now. drive off. That he just needs the third passenger yeah. drive off. James and Robbie's got Weston Champlin with him. Robbie is in what I know as the Blueberry, but they're renaming it. All right, so my nemesis is at the top it. of the last uh, obstacle. I'm trying to remember what they are. Quite a bit of time. Deja Blue. Uh, I'd say he's struggling. Dory you dominated. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> what did I miss? Yeah, we've got comments here of people saying, I've never seen Matt in the jacket before. Unsafe, irresponsible, crossed up, you know, when he came up fast, he was in fast. In South Dakota, he, he wore a jacket <laughs> then, too. In the name of the game, this is a team sport, okay? The name of the game is... They're talking team sport there in the car. Communication. And what team do you want to see move on to Saturday? That's how this is going to work. You can get on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app, and you can vote for who you would like to see driving. make They're it to Saturday. The final round, we're going to have five cars here. today and uh, five groups tomorrow. Eight. Eight today. Yeah, we got... Matt with James and Donut, and then Robbie yeah. Weston, <laughs> Peck yeah. Brothers, and Sean with Bikes and Beards. Then we have Craig, the bearded mechanic. How's it with going, Marlon guys? From Off Road and Chill. Alex hey, from kids. Mr. Build It with Light Bright, Kevin and Brittany. Project Farm, Tom. Who do you want to win? With Eric from BSA. And then Sparky. Ghost Town Living with Ben Off Road. And then we have one lucky more fan that's actually going to be running in the banana and have Kaylin spot. That was one obstacle. Okay, and that was one if obstacle. a lot of people don't know this, Kaylin actually is a professional. You're doing great! Uh, that's good. That's good. Uh, Matt says I'm doing great. Cars. I'm only a little bit scared. Uh, but he's not showing that at all. I'm not showing it at all because being brave isn't not being scared it's being scared and going through the obstacle yeah anyway. acting in spite of yeah acting in spite of so i'm being real brave i should get a stick <laughs> awesome sauce cool. 
I know, I was trying to. Hello, hello. Wow, from where? Canada. Oh, okay. Well, thank you guys. We appreciate it. I, I, I apologize for the wind and the sand in your eyes, but what are you going to do? I see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Okay, are we ready to go? What are you looking for? Yeah, we got to get this show on the road. Here? Everybody needs to be. That's Weston and Sean getting in a revving competition. How's it going? I can't, can you, you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, buddy. I see you now. Huh? All right, it looks like we're ready to maybe possibly be bringing in our second team here in just a minute. This is Mr. Build It. That's Alex, and he's going to be riding with Lightbright. That's Brittany and Kevin. They'll be coming up soon after James here. Yeah, Kevin, uh, Brittany and Kevin actually have a Jeep, that, or I should say a buggy that identifies us as a Jeep. It has a what's left of a TJ grill, but everything else isn't. It's got a Ford 302, automatic Atlas T case, one ton axles again. I think everybody in this event's got one ton axles, but they got ARB lockers, 42 inch sticky tires. I mean, this thing's definitely above and beyond probably any other of the rigs in the competition here today now i think that it looks like james and dona and matt they're coming up on the fin this is sponsored by full throttle battery <laughs> yeah and it's the official gatekeeper of triple sevens so if you guys don't know they're going to be running triple sevens and it ties in to double double sammy and there's a lot of sky, a little bit of slant, and 
if you're not paying attention, you could really mess up on that obstacle for sure. Now, this is one of those places here at Sand Hollow that it on camera it doesn't look as crazy as it actually is until you're here and you've done it and you can see the type of grade that you're going to be climbing in these cars it's actually really scary and really thrilling to be doing so if you haven't come down here to sand hollow in southern utah you got to check this out and come have some fun absolutely and right there they're actually showing that's the banana yeah so the banana is a jeep cherokee and they have a more fan with them so his name's market Fo marcus fox and he actually won on a, on the app they had a live stream on the app and he won and that's how he got to come out see a lot of fun he's coming out here to southern utah he's having a good time hopefully he's nice and warm here we were not expecting the temperatures to be as low as they are here in mid-march but hey if you're on the matt's off-road recovery mobile app you can vote for your favorite youtuber to, and get them into saturday's event the final so like james if you want james there all you got to do is just do hashtag one or number one if exactly. you want if you want Alex, Mr. Builder and Lightbright, you want them to go. They're number six. Now do we know if Weston has made it into town? Weston Champlin, we were told he was stuck at the airport till 2 a.m. because the door on the airplane would not close. Yeah, I heard that the Boeing was having some issues. They've been having a few issues with doors, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Man, so uh, I hope he made it. I'm not sure if he's, if he's made it out here or not. And I know that he's a fan favorite, so I'm really hoping that he's here today. But uh, I'm sure that we'll, we're going to see that on his YouTube, right? I, I would hope so. I mean, you, as a YouTuber myself, you always carry every camera you can at any time you can. And you never know what kind of craziness you're going to catch in your life. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure he made it out. I heard somebody say something about him. And I thought I saw Robbie's Jeep out there. So I hope that... He made it out okay and didn't have too many more door issues. Yeah, so we're yeah. here. We're reading the comments here on YouTube. Also on Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app. You can comment on there. Let us know where you're listening today. We've been seeing a ton of comments from even outside the United States. Jackson, yeah, we have tons of people here. And, and I apologize for being such an American, but they're putting their flags up. And I don't know what country that is instead of just saying the flag. How's West doing? But Good. Chris Essage say in the country. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you, that's a good Jeep. It's a good Jeep. <laughs> no, no, James isn't, but people, it, it's just an inside joke. Yeah, that's right. What's up, Jonah? Hey, how's it going? Wearing a jacket. Oh, the you again. Really this is like Groundhog Day. For sure. <laughs> It was cold it up going? there. We were up there yesterday after we went up the chute in the S10. And uh, as somebody has never went for them before, I kind of felt bad that they told me to put you up the chute right up. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. All right, the comments oh. are rolling in here on YouTube. It's a reference that doesn't work Bangkok, anymore. Wisconsin, Montreal, Canada, Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, and we have a comment, right. Weston is here. Without crashing, nice. just get a little froggy right here. Oh yeah, South Africa. Yeah, third People of the floor. For River Vinwicky, they are going to be tomorrow. So we do have some of the channels that are going to be out tomorrow, and then some of the channels are out today. All right, I so just they, saw West. These four wheel drive cars do not turn car. very sharp. He's going to be coming up so here next. So it's better to again, drive over favorite. things. If you want to see Weston make it to the final round on wide. Saturday. Get on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app, and that is number two. You're going to just comment on the live hey, stream, number there we go. two. This is, the, this is the drop into the gatekeeper. Okay, yeah, so this is the drop into the gatekeeper, which sounds totally chill <laughs> and not scary at all. Yeah, as James said, totally I don't know chill, what I prefer. Like, if with the, the drop into the they're going up well, is well, like I mentioned more terrifying, time, or they're going down? Going, going down. down. I think going down is more terrifying. It's, it's like way less so natural. I'm sure and you got to remember, what, like, what Matt puts sometimes stopping will end in an endo. So you have to roll out of it. So here, if, on this one, there's no obstacles really like that. This is probably the worst spot where you're like, 
roll out of We've it. We've got so many comments Which means control your speed, but don't coming stop. Coming from California, coming from control your speed, don't even stop. Vietnam, we're getting these okay, so all over the United States, Australia. Oh, this I've is had a lot of people comment game. saying uh, oh, Jamie doesn't look comfortable, and I can tell you, I've sat in the back of that car. There, I, you're not comfortable. It's not. There's not a whole lot of room. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some audio of what's going on inside James and Matt's car, what they're talking about, what they're feeling over there. Excited. We're at the we're at the drop we're dropping in to this ravine and then the gatekeeper. Drop which is which the is gate. a the gatekeeper is a fin. A what? A fin. And that's where oh. the, like the rock comes down like a fin. Like Moab has really famous fins. There was the lion back or they got just a live camera, so you gotta be Which one? The one left. that was just in your face. Oh here, that's... do the same thing to this one since what? you walked away. What? Answer the same question. Well, you just, just you do this. Like, well, what was he talking about? The fin. So yeah, so it's a fin. So you got to climb up onto the fin, uh -huh. and then drive on the top of it without falling off. So you're kind of straddling the fin. Or yeah, like and this one's not a very clean fin. I mean, yeah. obviously rocks come in all different shapes and sizes. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it not very, it's not very it's not very clean. So camber. so there's it gets really off camber, and then you have to drive around a pit of death. And it's, there's a couple places on this where I know... You have to drive around, you know, like the pit of death? Yeah. You? There's a couple <laughs> places on this trail where I have firsthand seen people flop into them accidentally. Uh -huh. And this is one of them. And it's one where if we fall in, it will be upside down. And we won't be able to get out because the windows will be blocked by rocks. <laughs> we'll have to hope the windshield pops out. But we won't. That's not going to happen. Right. It's not going to happen to me because I'm going to be out spotting it. <laughs> okay, great. Sounds good. It's okay, so it's drop into the... Remind me of the live camera. Yes. Drop into the gateway. That's right here. Just okay, where so those guys are standing. In. And, and then, then you can see the course over there. And about where you see the flags again on that rock, the gatekeeper yeah. is... Oh, I can see the top of the gatekeeper. If you if you go forward like an inch or two, a couple inches, see the black spots on the rock? Uh -huh. That's the top of the gatekeeper. So just left of those flags. Yeah. And it's it's pretty vertical. I'm gonna take you up Here the, comes the light. I'm gonna take you up the vertical. All right. Hey. Hey, this is awesome. We're dropping in. We're dropping in right here. We're gonna be the gatekeeper. That's the first Real obstacle. That's why they call it the gatekeeper. Wait, this is the first real obstacle. Yeah, this is where people are like, "Oh, I'm not doing this trail." Okay, That's why they okay. call it the gate. It's a gatekeeper obstacle. Oh, got it, got it, got it. And there's no way around it. So if you can't do it, you you're like, "Okay, I'm gonna go drive something smaller." So this is what really separates. Yeah, in my opinion, this is the most this is the most wrong you can that can go on this trail. Like. You know, without you know, without getting hit by a meteorite. So this is like the most crazy. dangerous part, right? Yeah. The beginning? Yeah. Okay. Great. But but go, let's go. Right. Okay, you're gonna want this one. You're gonna want to line up, so you got to be very aware of where your vehicle is, and you're gonna drive straight down this. Where should my vehicle? Look, look at my driver, man. <laughs> It worries me too. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got. Yeah, you're doing great. Just follow the tracks. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, just keep on going. Just get chill. No, just keep going. Yeah, he'll he'll be out of your way. Over this stuff, yeah, yeah. Just, just do it straight. Just straight up. You're doing awesome. This is like driving down the freeway. 
what this thing is meant to be. Amen. What's that? I think you're in it. Okay, just a little to the right. A little more to the right. We're going to want to drop off at the same time here, so get the front end over like two, two and a half feet. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's drive straight off of this. A little bit left. Just set that marlin. Just sand it. Sand it. Just sand, sand it down. It. You're doing great. This one's not terrifying. Like, there's nothing bad gonna happen here. That's that's as bad as it gets. I'm like a little bit. That's as bad as it gets. <laughs> And see, that's a good thing about sky dirt back there. That's the wor that's the most vertical down you're gonna get on this whole trail. Well, I just appreciate you guys putting all this loose equipment in the yeah. in the rig. That was just your helmet. <laughs> so. Okay, so that was my team. Yeah. Your team, my team, work together to fill it. As much loose stuff. Okay, yeah, just drive up this. This thing will just soak up all these bumps and just drive level. I know. I know. Like. Hello? How you guys doing? Hey kids! Hello, hello! Woohoo! Okay, this is where I'm getting now. Can I get up front now? Yeah. So to make me even more nervous, Matt puts his wife in the car with me, so I'll total his car, and I gotta keep her safe. You don't reduce ya? Keep my family safe, keep my car in one piece. You're doing great, welcome to hell. <laughs> also, this part of the car is hot. All right, so this is the first time I'm getting out of here. This is the gatekeeper obstacle. It's a fin. It's a vertical climb up onto a fin. We're going to get James up here. Oh, crap. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, a little to the right. Part, whoa, you got. Yeah. You're too late. So, so just put it in neutral and back up a couple feet. Back up, back up, back up. Turn your wheel this way while you do it. Look out, Mark. Back it up, back it up. Let's go. You're gonna go like two and a half feet. Okay. Back, back up one more foot and turn all the way to the right, all the way to the right, and go forward. All the guys running around. I know, it's hard, huh? There's too much going on. Hopefully our security is keeping people away, so we don't have to worry about that. There's this Jeep. This thing just got put together yesterday. I'm told, and uh, Wesson here, known for breaking section. Keep two, you need to get behind the road chief right now. You're so good, not freaked out at all. Really, just kind of. Jamie, make sure that he's stopping it and not cool, holding it against the torque converter or it'll overheat okay, the trans. So he's able to communicate yeah. directly with Wes. Have him come up. Okay, come Looks on. like they're going. Left. Is this cheating? If like I just said, here untested here. Jeep here. <laughs> you were saying it's going to get you to the first time. Well, this is the best. How's it going? 
Yeah. So this is where you're gonna feel a little off camera. All the way, all the way. So the pit of death is on your right. Okay, cool, thanks. The pit of death is on right our there, right. The pit of death. It was just updated by Matt. Jamie confirmed the pit of death is on our right. This is where it feels funny. All the way. Oh. camera at. All right, James is doing awesome. He's doing good enough that Jamie trusts riding with him. So this is the fin right here. I think we got an challenge coming up right now. Okay, we're gonna wait for what?
yeah, like some sorry. update. No worries. Yeah. It should, it should be constant reminder just for the All right, we are. Oh, we still got. We're. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on back there. We've got. <laughs> so I got to kind of focus on spotting in some place, some places. This is really, really out of James's own. Encourage them to just do one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. James, have you ever ran, run a rattle gun before? A rattle gun? Like a... Yeah. I think you... We were talking... Camera. Oh, you got James doing it, right? Yeah. Why are you doing it? He's running the gun. We're a team. Oh. <laughs> All right, for this next challenge, apparently we're changing a tire. Let's go! Okay, start taking them off. On. They're probably really tight right now. Yeah. Let's turn this up. Way to go, team! Okay, but we're gonna put them on super soft. Out of that kit. 
Matt's off-road recovery shop. So we got to pull this one off and put that one on. Got it. <laughs> Too bad this thing doesn't have like 33. Yeah. Let's cross it. Lost half of our tools. Where's the adapter that was in this? And it seems like we are doing. What are we doing here, Matt? Just Watch this. On there. Change the tires. We're just changing the tire here as fast as we can. Changing a tire? Oh I, my goodness! How often does this happen out on the trail? Hey, we're back on. So, yeah, we're back here, and, you know, as we just saw, Matt is out there. He was changing a tire. He also had some fans out there, too. Yeah, he had a few. It uh, looked like they both did. <laughs> and they are at the Milestar Tire Changing Competition. They're going to have a couple of competitions. Uh, excuse me. They're going to have a couple of competitions. Ugh, I can hear way too much background <laughs> noise in this. They're going to have a couple competitions going on through this thing where they go up, and as they're going up the trail, they're going to have a tire changing competition. They might have a beanbag throwing competition, a tug of war competition. So it's going to be pretty cool to see how they pull this off and how fast they can do it. Even though this is a make up our own rules as we go situation, I do feel like there are going to be timed, and then we're going to get to know those times at some point. As you see here behind me, that is Mr. Build It. That's Alex over there. I've watched a few of Alex's videos. I've watched him tear out. He does all types of, uh, I mean, just building of his of his own. He he made a huge shower that I saw. I watched him build a huge fireplace in his backyard out there in Boise, and he's excited to be out here. He's never been to Sand Hollow before. Yeah, so he he came down from Idaho, and I think that his his excitement is for sure being able to drive probably the most capable rig in this group. Uh, I believe that this, I mean, the Lightbrite's buggy is a solid buggy. I've wheeled with that buggy before a few times and it is well, well set up. Well, where's Lightbrite? Why are they not with him? Uh, they probably don't even have to spot him. He probably just lets him drive himself because that's what you do with buggies. Well, again, make sure that you jump onto YouTube or the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app. Let us know where you're listening or where you're watching right now. Uh, we've got people from all over the country. We even have people that have come from all over the world just to be at this event. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. And the funny thing is, too, is I actually had a comment uh, from Doug Ross saying in there, he's like, what? it's got to be horrible sitting here in the office and not out there wheeling. But we got to wheel yesterday, and it is windy out there these la this last couple days. So I have no problem sitting here in the office <laughs> and watching it from this side of the, <laughs> this side of the vent. Uh, all those people out there, those are some hardy souls, and you can see how many people are out there. I mean, if you, I mean, if you know how Matt is, and Matt is literally wearing a hoodie, in this event so he you know it's got to be a little chilly yeah it definitely is cold it's 40 degrees out there with 20 27 percent wind gusts 27 percent 27 yeah. mile per hour wind gusts that's how it works <laughs> so we do have the drone but i don't know if it's going to be able to get up in the air right now yeah it might not be it i mean it's it's hurricane so you never know the wind is always there but it looks like matt and Matt and Donut have made it up through the tire competition. They were able to complete that. And it looks like we got Off-Road and Chill coming up. So Off-Road and Chill is with, who are they with? Oh, they're with Craig, the bearded mechanic. So yeah, Craig's driving, Craig's driving that. He came all the way out from Pennsylvania. And the Off-Road and Chill rig is actually on probably its fifth motor. They, they, Marlon is from Cuba, and he is a, a full sin kind of guy. So he likes to just give it all the beans. 
and he has no problem <laughs> blowing up those stock Jeep motors. <laughs> now, Colt, you're out of New Mexico. We've got someone over here near Silver City, New Mexico. How far is that from where you're at? Well, I'm up in Farmington, so I'm a, I'm a little ways away, but yeah, that's a, you know, in New Mexico, is, it's, it's not a big state, it's a nice state, and, and so you can get anywhere within a few hours, I'd say, just like most states, so. We've got Iowa here, Canada, Lake Havasu, yeah, Louisiana, West. Vegas, Hackberry, Arizona, Norway, North Carolina, Germany, people from all over the world joining us here. And again, this event is strictly for the fans. This is for you. This entire production is for the fans and, of course, the people that have come out here. Like you saw the the lady screaming so excited to me, Matt. That's what this is about. It's a, it's a good event for people to come out and have some fun, and it's totally family-friendly. And that's the one thing I was wondering. This is all live. Who's going to be the first YouTuber to slip up and say those words we're not allowed to say on here? I, My money was on Weston. Oh, 100% Weston. But you guys let us know in the comments for sure what you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd put my money on Weston as well. But you never know. Uh, it, it could be anybody, I guess. I don't know. I don't think everybody does that. But the... Uh, the cool thing is, is, is what these guys are doing. I mean, they're these guys. You know, the people driving in this, in today and tomorrow and the next day, that most of them have never done anything I think it's like funny. this. So, an experience like this. To be able to sit All right. How come Robbie's not on that?
we're checking in here again. It looks like James with Donut, he's he's still going. He's got to be near the end here at the off-road games here at Sam Hollow in beautiful southern Utah. But it's windy today, very windy and cold. Yeah, it, it looks like they just went through the steps is what I'm gathering. And uh, the steps are actually sponsored by Milestar Tire. I run Milestar Tires myself, and, and their, their evolution of that tire has... has jumped leaps and bounds it's actually really amazing that mto2 how well it does now so what you're seeing right now we've got james from donut behind james is weston champlin we've got todd from Pro uh, project farm he's going to be coming in a little later sean bikes and beards yep and he's with the peck brothers and they even have their jeep with the seats on the roof so they've been in, on the easier parts they've been just all jumping in on top of the car craig the bearded mechanic Yep, and he's with Off-Road and Chill. They do, uh, like I was talking about earlier, they like to blow motors, but they... <laughs> they the, the cool thing about Off-Road and Chill, though, is because Marlon's from Cuba, they both flew in Spanish. They actually have a Spanish and an English channel. Yeah, and then behind that, Alex, that's Mr. Build-It with Lightbright, but we didn't see Lightbright. We didn't see them in the rig with him. No, they definitely weren't. They were probably outside spotting him and filming themselves. And then behind that is uh, Brent with Ghost Town Living and Bent Off-Road. I was looking into Ghost Town Living because this is really cool. Uh, Brent over there, he's bought an old ghost town that he's bringing back to life. It's it's Cerro Gordo in California, and I mean, I, my first thought is, is it haunted out there? So we're going to have to meet up with him and see if he's had any experiences. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely have to talk to him and ask him about that. I, I, I highly doubt it, but I'm sure he's probably had some pretty... I know when you get inside mine shafts and stuff, I, I took Matt into some mines up in South Dakota, and... It's, uh, you, you hear a lot of noises deep down. They bellow. Oh, they're doing okay down there. <laughs> All right, so who's driving Lightbright's rig? That is, that is Alex, Mr. Build It. That's coming in here on our YouTube channel. You can jump in and comment. And also, you can comment along on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery right, YouTube, or the, actually their mobile app. We're commenting there. And also, that's where you can vote for who you want to see on Saturday in the finals. Yep, that is where you go, and you want to make sure you put in the number of, of orders that they're in. So if you get on the app, you can see that number. Uh, obviously, like Matt and Donut, they are number one. So if you want to see them on the final day for the final competition, then that's the number you want to choose. And there's still teams. We still have half the teams that are going to come tomorrow with Rudy and Bleep and Jeep and Holly with Mischief Maker, Marvin with Flex Rocks and Rollovers, Rory with uh, Trail Mater, and Caitlin's still going to do another run, but then tomorrow she's actually going to spot somebody in her own buggy because she is, like I said, she is an actual professional rock crawler on her free time. And uh, that's one thing that we talked about because I used to do it many, many, many moons ago, probably when she was still just a twinkle in her dad's eye. <laughs> and and so it was, it was fun to kind of talk to her about that stuff. I think that we're going to probably wheel together when she comes down to Farmington. And then Dirt Lifestyle Nate will be heading up the rear tomorrow, which is going to be pretty cool with a Formula One driver, which, you know, I think he's pretty excited about himself. So, Colt, you've been doing this since you were young, right? You've been rock climbing, doing all of this. I did it with you yesterday. I felt safe, even though it, it felt like the most terrifying thing that I've ever done. Yeah, I didn't bring my I didn't bring my buggy. I had a really good video of ghost riding my buggy. A lot of a lot of people thought that I was I had somebody green screened in there or something, but that wasn't the truth at all. I just have a throttle lock and it's geared extremely low. Um, What's up, guys? But the the hey. S10, I brought out hey, the S10. Um, it's on leaf springs. Bear. It doesn't flex. Jamie, it flexes like a rig on leaf springs. Wife. And so uh, yeah, we, we're waiting for the rest of the pack to catch up. I heard that Weston and Robbie are somewhere back there, but I haven't seen him in a long time. We're gonna go check on him right now. Come with me. That's good.
copy and see how far back you were. How's it going? How, how do you think I'm doing? I think you're doing great. Yeah, well, whoever built this machine knows exactly what they were doing. Yeah, I, they didn't build the back window very good. I'm going to say it's 90% operator, 10% machine. How did that happen? We had an accident. The exhaust is dragging too. So once again, this is the Off-Road Games brought to you by Matt's Off-Road Recovery. We've got comments coming in here right and left. Brady Reynolds, he's having a good time out here. He's enjoying our banter back and forth, and he's enjoying this live feed. Now, again, this is unprecedented. We haven't had a big event like this before. We've got lots of people on the ground. We've got lots of producers, lots of cameras. There's so much going on. And again, this is for the fans. Yeah, and this is 100% unheard of for YouTube on a regular basis, especially to have a live stream like this at this level. Uh, if people could see the inside of what we're looking at, I mean, this screen is insane, what we got going on here with all this stuff. And if, what you don't know about, if you haven't seen Deja Blue that Robbie, that Weston is driving, that Robbie's spotting, Robbie gave Matt his rig and wanted to make a donut replica, or I mean a banana replica. And the banana, is, it's kind of a replica, but it almost isn't. It has a different, it has the same motor, the same goal and stroker motor, but nothing else is the same. So everyone's asking here, what happened to the back of Robbie's Jeep? Did they blow out a window or was it already like that before we got into this? Uh, it de they, no, it had a hatch that worked because I opened it yesterday when I was looking it over. So I'm gonna assume that somebody ran into it or maybe Weston backed into somebody. <laughs> you know, obviously he doesn't like doors because you know, with that Boeing, flight yesterday maybe he just doesn't like doors being shut on him so he opened it up for him so we're having a good time here it is the off-road games so much fun to be had here hopefully if you can't make it this year you can get here next year because it's going to be an even bigger event more fun and we're going to just make sure that it's not as windy and cold next year yeah i hope that they can move it back maybe one one more week and uh that it seems like Every, every, well, even last year it was kind of chilly too, and then it warmed up right afterwards. So maybe we can move it back a week and then things will go pretty good. What are Marlon and Luna? Oh, Mar Luna is up there throwing t shirts out to the crowd, and it blew away. It literally blew back. That's how windy it is. If you can't see how windy it is in San Hollow right now, that should be the proof right there. <laughs> Oh, it's all good. That's not a disqualification for Matt Donut. <laughs> it is. They, okay, how safe is this? Because we've got a lot of people right off of the flags here, and I've seen the comments coming here on YouTube of people wondering how safe it is for everybody. Yeah, no, you know, last year, the, the thing that, you know, like I said, I was here as a judge last year, and the thing that was a little bit nerve-wracking, I, I really felt bad for the drivers because uh, the crowd was really collapsing on the rigs. And so that's why they flagged this back. And they flagged back the areas where there's a potential spot for a flop, where it's a wider section so that they won't be anywhere near a vehicle. Um, so yeah, they're gonna be in pretty good shape for I think for all of that. The the interesting thing is like like this right here, you see them getting they got a speaker trucks running up so that the people that are there at the event, they're actually doing a live announce a live announcing down there for them as well. And they have three speaker trucks, one at the front, one in the middle, and then one at the back. Now the feed was throwing me off a little bit because we saw the Jeeps driving and we also saw a driverless car on the inside. It looked like we had a ghost rider. <laughs> Now, I think I'm a lone wolf on that one. I haven't seen anybody else pull that one off yet. But uh, I have had, si since that, I've had a lot of people that want me to do a remote control full-size rig. I, mean, I need somebody that has skills in remote controls, though. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> We're getting comments here, uh, people wondering if they could drive any slower. I would like to see these people come out here on the rocks and uh, try to do this and try to do it as fast as you can. See what happens, how that turns out for you. <laughs> yeah, the thing about when you're going really fast in rock crawling, 
uh, your rig is is really getting tipped. It's getting pushed on the limits of rolling a lot. And so you got to remember too that these drivers, these are non-off-road YouTubers that are driving these rigs. So they haven't had the experience. You know, I said that obviously James from Donut has you know has been out here in wheel before, but none of these other guys have, and a lot of them haven't had any practice at all. Uh, in fact, even Rory took Laura Farms out yesterday and actually flopped his rig <laughs> with her in it right out the gate. <laughs> so who is your favorite YouTuber out here today that is racing? You can let us know in the on the app, the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app, or on YouTube. We've got James with Donut, Weston Champlin. We've got Todd Project Farm, Sean, We've got uh, Craig, the bearded mechanic, Alex, Mr. Build It, and of course we got Ghost Town Living, that's Brent. And they're with the off-roaders that are also YouTubers. Yeah, and we have uh, a Lucky Moore fan as well. So the Matt's Off-Road Recovery fan, uh, he's going to be out there riding, uh, riding or driving, I guess I should say, with Caitlin spotting him, which I think that's really, really cool. His name's Marcus Fox, and he won because he got on the app they had a live on there and that's how he actually won it so one when this day's over at the end of the day if you get on the app you're gonna be able to go watch the record polls that are gonna be on the beach and from what I hear now granted this is just uh, words through the through the grapevine I hear even heavy D will be down there but I don't know I haven't seen him yet at all so I'm sure he'll probably fly in with his helicopter and land down there and <laughs> drop his rig in drive a little bit and then fly away Wow <laughs> Now we're wondering, Colt, are we going to see you out there driving next year? Well, um, I don't think they wanted my competition level. I think I'd have brought it too hard. No, <laughs> uh, no we, uh, you know, obviously I had a big change in my uh, YouTube channels. And so, you know, I was partnered up and then and then I, I was ob obviously had this opportunity to come here and do this anyway and be an announcer, which after being in the weather yesterday and taking you wheeling yesterday, I am super excited to just be in this nice warm office and talk about the event from here. Yeah, me too. Uh, we were talking about who was, who's going to be the first driver to maybe say those words not allowed to be said. And if we would have been mic'd up yesterday, those words were definitely coming out of my mouth as we were hitting the shoot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm, oh, hey, there we go. I'm glad we had the pre-talk. <laughs> but, but you did good. You did really good. I mean, like I said, for a first time going up the chute and a first time ever being off-road, that's that's a lot to ask for somebody. I was, I was, you, you, you did well. I was shocked that you were 100% game to, to go up that. <laughs> Well, Shane says on here, Colt, I want, I want to be your co-driver with you next year. Yeah, I've had a lot of offers for co-drivers. <laughs> well, they saw the rig drive itself, so now they're like, yeah, I don't even, I can just sit in it. <laughs> All right, so what we're seeing here, it looks like we've got James from Dona, and he's got to be wrapping up here, right? we got to be nearing the end. I would think, I haven't seen them get into Double Sammy yet. It's really hard to tell. I think they're right right at the verge of getting into Double Sammy from where I'm trying to figure out where they're at. It's really hard to see um, without being out there exactly where they're at. It's all the same red rocks, right? Now, how how easy is it for somebody that doesn't really know what they're doing out there to be to flip over this rig? Uh, in these rigs, it would be pretty tough. I mean, these guys would have to intentionally spot them to, to make them mess up, or they would have to intentionally be doing it. I think that they would be mostly safe. The, the one thing that they did require, you know, these rigs all have cages, they all have harnesses, they're all set up very well. They have the drivers wearing helmets. You know, they had helmets made for them if they want to wear them, so the driver has that option to do that also. So we're about to take a look here at the entire trail of what it looks like in this area and just going up, up, up through the dirt, through the sand dunes, and uh, even through a lot of this red rock. Yeah, so what we're getting ready to see is the Onyx Off-Road app. So right here, Onyx Off-Road, if you are a member, you can get on here and you can actually see the entire course laid out, where they're going, what they're doing, how they're gonna, you know, all the obstacles and how it's going to be laid out for the event, even where the vendor section is, where you need to go to park, 
all of those things, which actually brings me to another good thing is what we got going on with all of the uh, the drivers. We actually have uh, Mad Moose out here is providing shuttles for all these people. So all these people that can't, you know, that want to get up here and see this and can't actually, drive, you know, walk up there or drive themselves. Maybe they don't have a vehicle capable to get through the sand because even getting up there, is, you saw how sandy it is. And so Mad Moose is actually giving people rides up there to get them up on the trailhead so they can actually see this event live if they're here. You know, another one of our sponsors out here, I Got Poop. <laughs> it is the name that you're not going to be able to forget, and it's going to be the place that you're going to need when you really need it. This is the best management, uh, waste management crew in all of Utah. They're family operated, and they've got tons of experience out here. So if you got to use the bathroom, they got you covered. I got poop over here. It it's hard to say it with a straight face. Yeah, yeah. They it was kind of cool though seeing them up on the rocks. I mean, they got a legit truck with a flatbed oh, that they were oh, hauling God. all the porta porta johns. Thanks. With, so that was kind of neat. It I looks like who? What team is that? That's on the tire challenge right now. I can't. I can't see who it is. It's too far. It, unfortunately, our screen here is is just a, a wee bit small on what we're looking at. But it looks like we got another team on the tire challenge working their way through it. Is it light bright? I can't tell who that is working out over there. That might be that. What do you guys think? You guys should let us know in the comments. Yeah, everyone's saying it looks like it's light bright. Okay, yeah, they probably got a much better screen than I got from here. It's about the size of my phone yeah. at a distance. Right, so, oh yeah, that's definitely light bright. Tall. So, yep, that's Kevin and Brittany and Alex, Mr. Build It. So they should be fairly quick at that, I would think. They should be able to knock that out. Oh, now they got a tire toss? No, yeah, let's leave them loose. Matt was saying that he was going to set up some events for these guys to do throughout the day that are going to see, see how capable they are of doing things other than just driving up a trail. Now, wondering here, through our app or through the YouTube chat, how many people have ever made their way down here into Southern Utah? How many have been here before? Even if you've been to Sound Hollow, let us know in the comments and what have you thought about Southern Utah when you were down here? Well, if they come on the nice days, they probably think it's pretty nice. They come on data like today, they might think it's a little windy for them. There you go. I'm gonna go through those anyway. Who wants Skittles? Uh, I'm not going to look. I'm not going right, to look. let's turn it back over. We're going to go to them. They're throwing t-shirts to the crowd. You got, you and the wind blew it right back in. <laughs> okay, let's turn it over to them. Let's see how it's going on over there. Yeah. In the heart of Utah's bustling, ever-growing economy, there's one name you can rely on for all of your waste management needs. Igotpoop.com. From portable toilets to septic services, pipe bursting, potable water delivery, igotpoop.com is your one-stop waste management solution. No matter the size of the job, our dedicated team goes above and beyond to resolve your issues in a timely manner. We understand that time is money, and that's why we push the limits to ensure your project stays on track. But don't take our word for it. Our satisfied customers speak for themselves. So when it comes to waste management, remember, nothing is impossible with igotpoop.com. Contact us today to learn more about our comprehensive services.
That's awesome. This is this is awesome. I, I didn't know exactly what it would be like, but this is amazing. I think we need to slow down a little bit, maybe here in a second. We'll probably pull up right here and then wait. Right.
You stay far back enough from him. to make sure you have it. Product availability. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. <laughs> you got this, no problem.
So, we've got another challenge coming up here. I think it's up here in the sand. We gotta wait for everybody to get here. We just keep dominating. I mean, the problem is really, the whole problem is everyone else takes so long to catch up with us that uh, I get a little rusty now, we're back up. It's true, it's true. My left foot is starting to cramp. It's a bunch of like. Oh yeah, we gotta find something. Talk to somebody. Where's the gator in, Jake? Where's that? We need to get this boy a Gatorade. Yeah, find a Gatorade somewhere. I don't know what that means. Just check it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> 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 I don't need it. No, you've got to do everything you can to win. Yeah. You learned a lesson about life. Life. Yeah. life. 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 life.
All right. Listen, kids, no free meals. <laughs> that was awesome. You feel terrible. That was, yeah. Oh. You feel terrible? <laughs> <laughs> you feel cool to push kids around you? Is that what you like? Yeah. Okay, so who ended up winning? Your uh, wife taught me, so. I think we all won. James won. So, James won. James, yeah. teams, James okay, team won. You get this marker. Okay. And now you get to, like, give out your autograph to your teammates. All right. I don't know if my teammates know who I am. Here. You can sign yeah. shirts or whatever. Yeah, who's in charge of this event? <laughs> you know, we were looking for an adult and we didn't find one. <laughs> my so got Danny and I. Where's my teammates? I got some presents uh, yeah. for you guys. Oh, there he is. They just introduced me to a new lever that we've never went over. <laughs>
seen wearing those shirts. Oh, Want to just hand out new shirts to all of them? I was thinking that. I do have a question, Jamie. Were you, were you thinking to right? yourself, that's why I married him? Yes. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, she was like, she that said was a it. Third to me. year bird out. She goes, you see? Yeah. I was yeah. like, I get it. Does it all make sense now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It's like it made sense before, but now uh, I get we're it. We're gonna be doing that at the booth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I hope you guys like that sick burnout that I did in the sand. It was more of a sand out than a burnout. Got my adrenaline flowing. Like I'm. <clears throat> I'm in the frame of mind to make mistakes now. <laughs> Did you tell them about the, the tug of war? Who won? Oh, well, I won, but they didn't call it. So I'm like, fine, if they're not going to call it, I'm just going to let go of the rope. So that's what happened. I don't know if anybody got it recorded. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, okay. So this is where triple. Okay. I got. Sorry, I'm. I'm talking to two cameras here. This is the one that's important. These are the ones that are important. So, this is where triple sevens crosses double Sammy. So, we're right here. Is we're leaving triple sevens and entering the double Sammy. And the first obstacle I've doubled Sammy is Shaky Legs, named after Estelle Cas or, uh, Estelle Cas or Jimmy Legs. Sorry, not Shaky Legs. Jimmy Legs. After Estelle Costanza. So this is where the trail gets really, really narrow. A little bit of a S bend with some elevation changes. And then we go straight into the Jimmy Legs portion of the Jimmy Legs obstacles. I've kind of had James in some really weird spots already. So I was excited to show him this spot because it's pretty weird, like really weird angles. But I think I've had him in worse spots than this. So he's kind of going to kind of be like, Totally jaded.
I'd be worried Probably about get trouble. mixing yeah. them up. Yeah, you want them? I'll get them back from you on top. James and Donut have already driven through it. They're working through the second part right now, which is a bunch of ledges, kind of a windy climb of ledges. The first part there where they just went through is a really tight little hole, and you can get, you could actually hit your passenger side pretty easily through that section. It's right where the trail changes over from triple sevens to double Sammy, and that section can definitely get a little bit squirrely on your passenger side if you're not paying attention. Now again, this is a big event. This is the first the first day, the first time we're doing this. We have a lot of people on the ground with cameras. We've got a lot going on. The drone, we're trying to get up in the air, but again, it is so windy uh, over there at Sand Hollow. But tomorrow, we're gonna be back. It's gonna be uh, even better tomorrow. We're gonna have a lot of the things worked out and hopefully the weather is gonna be a little bit better. But make sure you join us tomorrow on the live stream as well as Saturday for the finals on the live stream here on YouTube and as well on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app. Yeah, I think, okay, we're out. good. This is by far the most superior Jeep in this whole event. What? It's built well, it's got the power, it's got the tra it's got the traction, it's got the big tires, it's got the flags, it's got the cement, it's, it's dialed in, man. It's dialed in. Unlike Robbie Layton's Jeep, his Jeep doesn't even have a, it's all dented up, look at that back window's all busted up, you know what I mean? That's a shame he would bring something like that to a, to a high class high level, you know, uh, course like this, you know what I mean?
right there. Been out to beautiful Utah, beautiful Sand Hollow. Come and check it out. We are going to be wrapping up here shortly, but if if the stream ends on YouTube, which it will, you can catch all of this stuff going on on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app. You're going to see behind-the-scenes stuff. We've got booths out here. We're going to have interviewers uh, interviews with the YouTubers and all of this. And plus, Colt, you're headed out. You got yourself a booth out there as well. Yeah, I'll be out there as well. And right now, they got Weston Champlin going up through what we've dubbed Jimmy Legs. And I'd really like to see him give it a little throttle because that's the way Weston works. He's redneck science, right? Yeah, redneck science, exactly. We got a lot of people wondering what happened to the back window. Yeah, and my only thing is probably Weston Champlin <laughs> happened to the back window. <laughs> redneck science happened to the back of the window. <laughs> His redneck science probably backed into the front bumper of the Pex Jeep, I'm guessing. 
So again, thanking our sponsors here for making this thing happen and, you know, making this YouTube stream completely free for everybody, like Pepsi. Now, when it comes to Pepsi, Colt, I was going to ask you, are you a Pepsi guy or are you a Mountain Dew guy? But I know that you've dropped about 120 pounds and you don't drink any of that anymore. Nope, yeah, I don't drink soda. <laughs> I did have a soda with you yesterday, if that's what you call it. Yeah, I guess it could be called that. It had no sugar, no calories, <laughs> no taste. <laughs> it's perfect for losing weight. It was awesome. Uh, all right, so again, thanks everyone for joining us here on YouTube. Again, you can move on over to the mobile app, Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app, but we still have a full day of adventure tomorrow and Saturday. Now, they're saying it, we could be getting some weather tomorrow. That could that could be interesting. Maybe it doesn't happen. We're not sure. Yeah, and that's always possible. Tomorrow, we're going to have a great lineup, too, because we got Vin Wicky. If you guys don't know who Vin Wicky is, he actually does... Uh, car reviews and he used to hold the title for the cannonball run the fastest cannonball run and he's going to be teamed up with bleep and jeep we got seth from berm peak which he doesn't four wheel but he got into rc crawlers when he got hurt on his on a mountain biking accident so he got into rc crawlers he's going to be teamed up with rudy in the rudicon and then we got dan from what's inside teamed up with holly from mischief maker we got devin from legal eagle and he sent me when when we got packets i asked everybody to give me stuff he gave me a full packet that i can't understand it's way above above my skill set and uh, uh, but I can tell you graduated from UCLA. That's one part I can understand. But he's teamed up with Marvin from Flex Rocks and Rollovers. I think that could be an interesting combination. And then behind them is Lara Farms and Rory. And like I said earlier, they were out practicing yesterday, and they already flopped. So the odds of them doing something entertaining is going to be really high. And then Kendall Gray, if you guys don't know who Kendall Gray is, this guy is a hunter that travels the world. He travels the country hunting and fishing and doing all kinds of outdoor stuff. And he's teamed up with Caitlin. That They're definitely going to be an entertaining group, to say the least. And then we have the Formula One driver, Scott, who's teamed up with Nate from Dirt Lifestyle. So those are all tomorrow. When we team, when we leave this and go over to the app, uh, at that point, people are going to be able to see all that. Plus, they're going to be able to see the record polls that are going to happen this afternoon. There's going to be record polls tonight and tomorrow down at the beach. So all the people that are out there, they're really going to get to enjoy this event. And if you don't have, if you can't be out there, once we leave the live, like I said, this is a, a huge thing too. Like when we're doing this live, this is something that's unprecedented for YouTube. I mean, you know what we're trying to create here, what we're trying to do with these cameras. You know, and fighting weather and fighting the first time. This is going to be something that we're going to be working on. Tomorrow's even going to get better. And then day three is going to be awesome. So you make sure you get on the app, vote for the teams you want to see on the final day. And, and yeah, I mean, I think it's just going to be pretty cool. I think for tomorrow, one of the fan favorites already is Lara Farms. I've been seeing a lot of comments on Facebook. Excited to see Lara and Rory tomorrow. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, I think it's going to be cool. They're, they're, like, she came up and talked to me yesterday, and you know, she drove. I, I don't know how anybody's familiar with her channel or not, but she actually got a. Her and her husband got a free deuce and a half, a military deuce and a half that they got for free that wasn't running, and spent a few days out there getting it running and actually drove it around. And I, that's one thing that I had said. Uh, as far as when they were talking about people to drive my rig, I said they have to be able to drive a manual transmission because outside of my S10, all my other vehicles are manual transmissions. So well, they, all my big rock crawlers anyway. And so I was like, I need somebody that could drive that. If you can drive a deuce and a half, you can pretty much drive anything. Well, speaking <laughs> of deuce and a half, let's go back to our sponsor, I Got Poop. They're the best waste management crew in all of Utah. They're family owned and operated right here in Southern Utah. They've got the porta potties out there. If you got to drop a deuce and a half i got poop has got you here in southern utah they got you covered for yesterday's meals on wheels for sure <laughs> yeah so we've got a lot of questions here about the peck brothers peck yeah. brothers are gonna are they on today they are out there they're out there i think some of their camera i think some of the camera crimp, it, uh, oh they're with sean's with bikes there. and beards yes they are with sean with bikes and beards if you guys are interested on their rig they actually have a 1998 jeep tj and they turboed the six liter ls in it so it's got a six liter ls with a turbo a 4l80 which is a really strong transmission four speed transmission with an atlas transfer case which is a high end i mean those are good strong transfer cases they got 300m axle shafts 
Airlocks, Yukon Airlockers, and of course their signature, they like to run these 43 inch SX stickies, which are just huge monster mud tires that they like to run on the rocks out here. Uh, with 17 inch Raceline beadlock wheels and worn Factor 55 hookups and whatnot, they, they, these guys are entertaining. They're a group of three brothers. They grew up in Idaho, into four-wheeling, and they are, they are an entertaining group of guys to hang out with and talk to, for sure. Now, Tim Bender here on YouTube has asked, how much is the mobile app? Totally free. Yeah, it's Get on there, free. watch the stream, and you're going to see Colt out there because you're going to be at your booth, everybody's going to be there at their booth, and they can people can stop in and get merch and do all of that. Yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be really entertaining for people, I think. All right, so what do we have going on with Peck Brothers' rig? Looks like Peck Brothers are hanging out with with Robbie. Oh, they're doing the winch the winch challenge right now. So we got a crowd. Let's go out there and see what those guys are doing. See how see how entertaining they can make it. And there's Eric with BSF, and he's with Todd with Project Farm. So there's the, the, these guys can. Uh, you know, Todd's a really good guy. He does a lot of reviews. He's got the probably the best reviews on YouTube, actually. Frame. You got 
rock stars in this whole event. Hey, that is a great oh, working oh, oh, Let's give them a big round of applause, everybody. Absolutely, absolutely. You see somebody just picking Jeep, pat him on the shoulder, telling him to do a great job. All right, I am currently at a 45 degree angle leaning into a wall, getting a heck of a ride here in the off-road and chill Jeep with uh, Peter Mechanic at the wheel. Do you, do you feel safe down there? Give us some live reporting. I feel completely safe in this Jeep. It has got all kind of a sparkly red roll cage in it, so you can't go wrong there. Plus, I didn't have to walk up the hill. I'm, I'm feeling pretty jealous. Back here riding inside, these guys have the heat on, they got the heated seats. This Jeep is set up not just covered, but for growling rocks, and they are doing it right now. So the question is, are you going to help them with this uh, tow company? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, that's a lot of people that you can just see standing around. And a lot of these people are getting to you know, trucked up. We have a couple sponsors that we're helping out with that. Mad Moose is one of them. And another one I actually saw in here, Red Rock Humvee. Red Rock Humvee is also providing shuttles up the hill. And some of these teams, I, which I think Marlon and Luna are one of them, are actually run full throttle battery, which is a sponsor for this event as well. So. Uh, Full Throttle Battery has been getting a really hard push into the off-road community. They, they have a strong battery. Most of us that run batteries have found out in our lives that most of our rigs have some sort of, some sort of parasitic draw that we can't deal with. <laughs> and so it's good to have a good battery. Um, with this, with this, tote, or with this uh, winch that they're doing, getting ready to do here, I think it's just how fast you can do a winch competition, how fast you can winch yourself up. So. I'm kind of curious how Marvin is going to do tomorrow because he wanted to drive the Tangerine. And if anybody's familiar with Matt's off-road recovery, they're familiar with the Tangerine. And the Tangerine doesn't have a winch. So does that mean that they're going to win or does that mean they're going to lose? <laughs> 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 Again, huge sponsor, or huge shout out to our sponsors, Full Throttle Battery. That's the only batteries that real off-roaders use. Yankum Ropes, you had those all over in the S10. Yes, yeah, I just actually uh, changed a lot of my stuff over to Yankum because I've been doing a lot more recoveries uh, with Matt and with Robbie. Um, and not that I'm a recovery guy by any means, but it's nice to know we, see, we keep seeing continual videos popping up and stuff on forums of people getting hurt using cheap towing recovery parts and so yankum is made in idaho it's made right here in the u.s all their parts are made in the u.s and so it's really nice to have you know and if you watch actually todd um, project farm did a review on all of these ropes between ones that you can just get off Amazon and eBay and things like that versus that and you get people need to remember too that Todd is not sponsored by anybody he intentionally does not get sponsored by anybody when he does his reviews so that he can give you the most unbiased reviews he does yeah a truly honest review so we're gonna be having a lot of fun tomorrow and again if you've enjoyed this live stream make sure you like it make sure you comment tell us that you've had a good time watching this and also tomorrow is going to be even better we're going to have a lot of the bugs worked out we're going to have the drone up in the air we're going to have so much going on tomorrow and of course the final is going on on saturday yeah i think it's going to be great so yeah definitely make sure that you get the app because that's where all this is going to go so when you see this live stream end that's where it's going to go but tomorrow we'll still be live here on youtube and and then you know obviously we're going to work out some more bugs we're going to try to get some more cameras working we've had a few issues with cameras and that's just the reality of what we're trying to do here i mean this is a, a first time event you know like this i mean this is obviously the second year of the off-road games but this is the first time we've ever done a live stream at this level yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun tomorrow and i noticed temperatures here in hurricane at san paulo reached 50 degrees and right as they hit 50 matt popped that sweatshirt off he's back in the sh in the short sleeve shirt <laughs> Yeah, he, he has it figured out right there for sure. He knows exactly what temperature he needs to have a hoodie and what temperature he doesn't. But I still think that wind was a little brutal today. <laughs> well, not only the wind, if you've never been in sand dunes like this, when that wind whips up, here comes the sand that are like little shards of glass coming at you. <laughs> yeah, after we were four-wheeling yesterday, I definitely, I went through a lot of Q-tips with all the red sand that was in my ears. <laughs> But that's usual. I, you know, it's it's like that down here sometimes, and it's nice. I still enjoy this area. This is some of the best four wheeling in the nation, hands down. This is one of the best places to wheel, and that's probably why a good chunk of these YouTubers right now we're looking at Kevin and Brittany, who moved out here a few years ago, and Marlon and Luna, who just moved out here. Obviously, Matt grew up around here. Uh, you know, there's a lot of these YouTubers that are really close to this area. And, and, and it was part of the reason why I moved down to Farmington, not because I wanted to be in this area, but because I was just tired of being cold. New Mexico is a great place to be. I mean, do you get, but I do know in New Mexico, you can still get snow out there. You do, uh, where Farmington is, if it gets snow, it builds about the same day. It's a lot like Moab, Utah, you know, where Rory lives and Trailmater. And so, yeah, it's, you get snow, but it's, it's not bad. I believe Brittany and Kevin right now are 
seeing how fast they can get this thing winched up looks like whatever they did they won because or they did well because everybody is cheering them on they are teamed up with alex from mr build it yeah this is such a fun event going on again tomorrow we've got even more youtubers going we've got uh the vin wiki they're gonna be having they're gonna be there and if they're the ones i'm most excited to see tomorrow yeah it's pretty interesting like i said their their backstory i mean they've been doing they do a lot of review videos is kind of or like where they talk about history and his like car history motorized history and he held the cannonball record right up until COVID actually and obviously because nobody's on the road that the person that broke that record it's probably never going to get beat again because you just don't have the traffic and if you don't know what cannonball is cannonball is kind of an unsanctioned race across the country <laughs> at, at high speeds with very expensive cars and Ed and Christopher are no exception. They have some very high-end expensive cars. Well, from L.A. to New York, they did it in about 28 hours. I looked it up last night. Do you know how fast that is? No. Non-stop? No. Let's say they don't stop for gas somehow. That's 96 miles per hour across the country, non-stop. <laughs> <laughs> so it had to be faster than that because they had to stop for gas as well. That's something that is incredible. So Vin Wiki, they're going to be on tomorrow. Of course, we're getting a lot of comments for Lara Farms. Yeah, she'll be on tomorrow with Rory. Yep, and she is out there right now. This is the kind of cool thing about everybody here is that she is out there right now as one of the announcers so they are doing they are announcing down there they got three vehicles that were supplied by easy flight and they got speakers on top and so they have three different announcers one at front one in the middle and one in the back and they're actually talking people through what's going on while they're out there doing it you know and another big shout out to the entire crew putting this event on think about this you're in the desert in sand dunes multiple cameras you've got audio you've got us in a studio somewhere we're miles away all of this is going on and we're streaming live on youtube this is something that you know people would have never even dreamed of happening 10 years ago yeah it's definitely a, a, a totally another level of what we got going on you know like i said this is the first time that i think any off-road YouTuber has ever tried to make something like this, do something like this, and you know, it, it's really cool. It's really cool to be a part of it, just like it was last year, you know, and, and some of the things still haven't changed. You know, the rules are made up as we go, and the vote, you know, really the only thing that's going to make a difference on who we see on the final day is who everybody votes for on the app. Now, it looks like we got somebody about stuck here. It looks like they're getting their way out. Who is this? Who are we looking at here? That is Alex, Mr. Build It, in Kevin and Brittany's buggy that uh, you know, identifies as a Jeep. And like I said, that buggy is completely well built and there's nothing Jeep in it. It's, got a, it's even got a Ford motor. So it has no, you know, it's a really cool build. I've wheeled with it before uh, in Arizona a few times. And what they've done to it since then has just made it even better. It would almost drive itself. Like they're trying to put him up some harder stuff. And I think he's a little bit uncomfortable. You can tell that he's just a little bit uncomfortable. He's probably never done anything like this. And from what I what I gather, Mr. Build it, he just takes stuff apart, right? And and shows people how things are made and how they how they go apart and how they come back together, correct? And then we'll build, you know, re that's how he said on his YouTube. He said, "I've learned how to do this by slowly taking it apart and figuring out how it works." <laughs> that's funny. My that's how my son was as a kid. All my toys that survived as a child, he took them all apart and destroyed them and then couldn't figure out how to get them back together because he broke them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have so many people commenting here, and thank you for the comments. And also on the mobile app, Matt's Off-Road Recovery, if you're having trouble with the app, uh, you can make sure it's updated. You can shut your phone down, come back to it. People have been commenting saying that it has been working for them. But again, we're having, we're having a lot of people um, on this stream right now, so you could be running into some issues with that, but the app is up and running.
Sean's going to send it here in the Peck Brothers Jeep. Maybe, honestly, maybe even overbuilt. Like how, how well they're dealing with these obstacles. Oh, yeah, they'll just walk right up it. Uh, we definitely need to uh, push us some higher obstacles next year. We are in the last leg. What did we call this one, though? I love you. Yeah, the last. All right, we're at the last set of obstacles um, on today's challenge. We are. There's just a series of little things that are hard to follow. But they got this line up here, so you can find it really easy. Don't get run over. Did you swap the battery? Hey, hey, kids. Hello. How are you guys doing? Thanks for coming right. up here. 
Okay, so we're coming up to the final obstacle. Pretty good. Uh, feeling pretty good, but not allowing myself to become comfortable. Yeah, this is the last set of obstacles. They're not too tricky, but they're just little off cambers and narrow little things, hard corners. He's doing great. This, there's some tight corners and some dips and some narrow ledges. You're gonna have to back up. Just back all the way up till your back end's back on the bottom. There's advanced shifter things you can do, but we're not gonna try that today. We'll do that when there's not 5,000 people watching. All right. Eleven percent more throttle. Hey, well, can I pet your dog? Okay. What's your question? I'm listening. They're excellent rock and sand tires, and then we do a ton of work in rock and sand. There's kind of no wrong way to do this. Can I pet your dog? Somebody else's rig. Let's just send it, you know. We can go anywhere. We can do anything. Let's just leave this crew. <laughs> you didn't break the windshield, did no. you? No, I just knocked the rear diff plug out. <laughs> These guys. I'm not with them. I'm just getting a free ride. <laughs>
keeps telling you to sit, but I think he wants you to break something, so you have to go out She's going, no, he's going to send it. Send it. Send it. <laughs> I'm like, ah! There's so much traction out here, yeah. you don't have to send it. Let's go, Sean. All the fans out there, we had some kids chanting, and it looks like right now we're watching Weston, who's already blown out a window. And we're seeing if he can make it up here. I think he just needs to go for it. Yeah, Weston just needs to give it the onion, you know, give it some real redneck science. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think he did a little bit in the back. Maybe he feels a little guilty. I don't know, but, but he shouldn't. Uh, you know, that's a brand new build, but Robbie's a body guy, so whatever he does, Robbie should be able to fix it. <laughs> All right, so let's ask here on our, our YouTube, on the chat, for everyone here, who would you like to see at the off-road games next year? Who would you like to see come out? You know, you've, you've got, it could be anyone. They don't, have to, they don't have to have ever done this before. Yep, I think that's a great idea. I think anybody that, you know, if, if there's somebody that you watch that, you know, you really you know adhere to on youtube especially you know tell them you want them out there you know say let them know you know mention it in the comments here let them know and then that way you know that can happen because that's really how all this happened you know these guys had people telling them you need to go out to these games and that's how that this how, that's kind of how this all worked out we saw jonah someone wants sarah uh sarah in tuned we want jonah tristan from 
Let's see. Oh, it's going oh, here fast we go. here. So we got a bunch of people saying Cletus. So here's the deal, guys. Cletus was going to come out. He was 100% going to come out, and I was going to let him drive my samurai buggy. The problem with Cletus, though, is he's actually, it's not a problem. It's a great thing. He is having a kid. So he has a good, solid excuse to why he's not out here. <laughs> I, you know, I think I have, I think everyone here in the comments, I think they're, I think they're wrong. I've got the top two people that need to be here next year, according to my son, and that is Miss Rachel and Blippi. Let's get them out here next year. Do you even know who Miss Rachel or Blippi is? <laughs> nope. You have no oh, idea? Oh, yeah, I do. I, I've heard of them. Yep. <laughs> Yep. It is it is content for about two year old kids. We would fill it with all the children in here. Oh yeah, somebody said Chris Fix. That would be a great, great one too. And we'd have to convince him to not wear a helmet at some point. <laughs> we got Bert Kreischer. Someone asked for Bert to come out here. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, Bobby Lee, Neil deGrasse Tyson, another one for Sarah in Tuned. And and everybody that just got on here. The people that are out here today is James with Donut Media, Donut, and he is right, he is driving the Morver with Matt. That's who we see right now. They're going up, they're actually going up the wave pool, it looks like to me, is from what I can tell here. They're, uh, that obstacle's name because, you know, if you go the wrong way, you might uh, wipe out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and okay, and that's the team way. up front. Behind them is Weston Champlin and Robbie Layton. Behind them is Sean with Bikes and Beards and the Peck brothers, Brady, Alex, and All Caleb. Right, you ready to do the and shoot? then the as we keep iconic. going down the list, it's Craig, Off that's the bearded mechanic. He's with Off Road and Chill. Alex with Mr. Well, Build It. He's with Light okay. Bright, Kevin and Brittany. Todd with Project to Farm with Eric BSF. Yeah, which BSF, I don't know how much you guys know about off-road recovery, but that channel is probably one of the oldest channels on YouTube. They started in 2009, right at the beginning of YouTube, and they've been doing recoveries ever since. Oh, pull up 30 feet, shut it off. We've got one more challenge. Pull it up 30 feet and turn it off because I got one more challenge. Yeah. Right on. So you guys are you guys are fantastic cheerleaders. Where are you from? I don't fall. Arizona. I don't fall. I don't fall in Arizona. Yeah. Okay, what we're gonna do, Hefe, so just have them pull up apart side by side. I want that. Okay. Go get me some pizza. Not pineapple. I'd rather have a Supreme or something like a Supreme. I gave it away to somebody. <laughs> All right, where's the challenge at? Yeah, you're going to have to do it on the fly, but we'll, we have a meet and greet later.
like climbing two different bars. It is just a vertical. We gotta make it up this and then we have one final challenge up here.
out here next year to the off-road games presented by Matt's Off-Road Recovery. We've had a ton of people. Leah Block. How about Hayden Deegan? Travis Pastrana. I think you've got you've got the connection there to Travis. You could tell I don't him, know hey, about that. <laughs> I need you to come out. Come out and do this. People would love it. People would oh, love yeah. Travis Pastrana out here. Oh man, and his driving skills put him in a rock crawler you could probably see something entertaining for sure he's not afraid to jump and he's definitely not afraid to roll if this today was a timed event who do you think of our contestants who do you think would have possibly won this thing well I, if it were me and and granted they were up front too but it looked like james and matt did really really well i mean at points they were having to stop and wait for everybody else so i'd say that they were cruising along Granted, like I said now, James has been out here before, and this is Matt's home turf. But the Morvair is a solid rig, especially for this trail. Well, we did see Matt was eating his victory pie, which you said is a big thing for Matt. Oh, yeah, he absolutely was. He was sitting at the top, and he was he was munching away on that victory pie. They didn't catch it, but, yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is something Matt likes to do. He usually has some sort of snack in his pocket, for sure. <laughs> so it is, in the western United States at least, it's a, it's around lunchtime. I'm wondering what everybody's been having for lunch today. Comment here on our Facebook page, or our YouTube page, rather. Uh, so on the stream, let us know what you have for lunch today. Me and you, because you, cold, you've lost all this weight, so now you eat healthier than anyone that I know. I just ate what it was a a almond flour banana bread. An almond flour banana bread yep. that kind of tasted like a banana bread a little bit. Yeah. A little tiny bit of banana bread. I could kind of taste it. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> oh yeah, somebody commented on here busted knuckle. That would be great. We should get I definitely agree. Busted knuckle. Get Matt Myrick out here with one of his bouncer buggies. That would be entertaining for sure. We've had people having burritos. JP had a Costco hot dog. The best deal in the country right there. Cold <laughs> snacks for lunch. People are having hummus. Quinoa, meatloaf, sandwich. Richard had pancakes. You know, and I have seen people going back to who we would like to see here next year. I've seen a lot of comments for somebody named Mr. Beast. And I know someone around here knows Mr. Beast well enough that we could get him out here, I think. <laughs> that would be a hard, <laughs> hard push. That guy is busier than anybody on the planet, I think. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen. But I think you could come out and buy Sand Hollow is what could happen. <laughs> Give it away to somebody. <laughs> That would be great. Looks like somebody's eating some jambalaya. Way to go, Peter. I wish I had some jambalaya. JJB went for the big bowl of Captain Crunch for lunch. <laughs> oh, here we got uh, uh, Todd, Project Farm. He's running the BSF buggy. They built this, so I built my S10 in three months. They had this thing put together in six weeks. So just a little over a month and a half, they got this thing together and it is still holding up. So they, they said they felt like it would hold up through the course, it may not hold up after, but they thought that they could make it through the trail today. Well, with all these comments coming through on YouTube and as well, you can comment also on the mobile app, Matt's Off-Road Recovery, the mobile app, go download it, and you can watch all the behind the scenes stuff when we end this stream on YouTube. But for everyone else, I'm wondering who is your favorite YouTuber that is here right now? Who are you the most excited to see? I'm gonna say, I wanna say Weston might be, might be one of the favorites here. People, so many people were excited that he was gonna be at this event. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are excited to see Weston for sure. James with Donut Media, Donut, I mean, they really, they, they have a good following, so a lot of people like him. The people that are here, though, at this event, you know, a lot of people were cheering on Sean. People have been cheering on Todd. Uh, you know, I think tomorrow's even going to be a totally different ballpark, you know, especially when you got all these other YouTubers that are going to be competing tomorrow. It's going to make it really entertaining to see who, who goes into the final day. And the only way that people can do that is on the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app. So you can either get that, you can download that on iOS, you can download it on Android, and from what I've been told, you can even do it on Roku. So when you download it, once this live stream ends, 
it will go into that and you will still have the live stream going on for the rest of the day because during the night in the afternoon they're going to be doing wrecker pulls on the beach and from what i hear heavy d is going to be out here doing the record polls as well all of this is this is the reason that you need to download the mats off-road recovery mobile app it's all completely free you can watch there on your mobile devices but uh we've had you know a lot of people saying they're excited to see the peck brothers you know someone's excited to see a uh, seth burn peak really excited to see him tomorrow so that'll be happening tomorrow we have another huge list of stars coming out and competing tomorrow at this yeah, as these guys are rolling up through the top of the trail here, they are pretty much all done. So they have went up what, what they have kindly dubbed the Rock Band. And they named it the Rock Band because it's not that hard, but it just looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so remember on the mobile app, get on there and vote for who you'd like to see Saturday. So I'm going to give you a rundown with Colt here on who you, if you want this person to be there Saturday, you got to go on the mobile app and comment. For James of Donut and Matt, that's number one, hashtag one on the chat. Yep, and it just works down the list. So just how as they ran today is how their numbers are going to be. So James and Matt are one, West and Robbie are two, Todd and Eric are three, Sean and the Peck brothers are four, Craig and the Bearded Mechanic and the Off-Road Chill are five, Alex and Lightbrider are six, and Brent with Ghost Town Living and Ben Off-Road are number seven. So just how they ran, obviously for the competitors, that's how it's going to be. Now we do have the more fan. Uh, Marcus Fox in the very back there with Caitlin just having the time of his life probably driving the banana and the banana I tell you what they just put that new transfer case in and that thing wheels like a champ now the way it's geared up it works really really good so again the mobile app is Matt's off-road recovery now Sean has commented here and said I can't find it are you looking in the app store or are you looking at the Android store Google Play, wherever, go and find it. Matt's Off-Road Recovery, the mobile app. I've downloaded it myself. I've been watching on the on the app as well. Yep, so I was able to do it on the same time. And then it pulls up immediately as M-O-R-R, -R, you know, which Matt's Off-Road Recovery. So you might see it under more, you might see it under uh, Matt's Off-Road Recovery, but it should pull up on either. I found it uh, within just seconds. And, I'm, I, and I am not computer literate at all. <laughs> So we're having a good time. Again, a huge shout out to everybody that's made this possible from sponsors like like O'Reilly Auto Parts, Onyx, Full Throttle Battery, and so many more. They've made this possible and the entire crew come out here today to be out in the desert. All the cameras, all of the people that have come out. It is, it's been such a cool event to have. Yeah, definitely. And we can, obviously can't forget I Got Poop. But they, uh, <laughs> they, they actually provided a whole trailer and they had a whole bunch of Harbor Freight uh, five-gallon buckets. And those five-gallon buckets are what we were able to actually tie down all of our trailers with. Uh, Fortunately, that worked out because we could fill up with sand. It's sand hollow. We're not short. Oh, of, they so were. thing we're not short of is sand. They were empty buckets. They were empty. Oh, buckets, thank goodness. Fortunately, yeah. I was wondering. <laughs> and and so that's how everybody's got their tents tied down because as you can see in this video, as Bent Off Road is coming up the hill here, uh, with Brent from Ghost Town Living driving, that this is it is windy, and so there's only one way to do that. Also, I'm noticing in the comments that a lot of people are wanting Derek from Vice Grip garage he would have actually came he unfortunately had an event going on right before this that was that it, he was double booked he just couldn't make it but he is planning for next year so yes hopefully next year we will both have we will have Cletus McFarland here and and Derek from Vice Grip Garage which is going to be really awesome again we've had a lot of comments on here just recently saying how great of a job you're doing Colt <laughs> just want to remind everybody there are two people talking here not just Colt <laughs> yeah and DJ is a professional DJ so he's making me look good <laughs> don't say I'm professional because now they're expecting higher of me <laughs> <laughs> well he's professional on radio so it works out really well yes we do we hear that the mic is cracking we're gonna get somebody in here to take a look at that 
Uh, so be patient, but again, this is day one that we're putting this whole thing together. Day two is going to be a lot better. Saturday is going to be unbelievable. So make sure you're following us on here on YouTube and on the mobile app. This is just going to be a blast the next couple of days. Yeah, and we do appreciate all you guys that are sticking through on this. You know, this is a first time for something like this, running a live video feed at this level with multiple cameras, multiple crews, multiple rigs, multiple people. And, you know, as we're working out bugs as we go, it's just going to get better and better each day. So, like I said, tomorrow is a whole new group of YouTubers. It's a whole new group of non-off-road YouTubers and off-road YouTubers. And then as you guys vote on the app, that final day is going to be who you guys chose. Who everybody chose on the app when you voted for today's and tomorrow's, the people with the most votes win to be on the last day. Hey, even though, as Matt said in the very, very beginning of this entire show, there's only going to be one winner, and then there's just going to be first and second and third place losers. <laughs> yeah. Who do you guys want to win? I would like to see that in the comments. Who do you think out of today did the best? You know, here comes here comes right now what we're seeing is Marcus Fox. So this is the lucky fan that was on the app during the previous live stream that was able to get flown out here, has his all expenses paid trip to be out here, and then he is actually driving the banana, which is a solid, solid rig. I mean, this is what made this channel. And he has a professional rock crawler, Caitlin, spotting him through it. You know, the person that surprised me the most today, I've got to go with Mr. Build It. Alex really surprised me out here because he's never done this before, and he's with Lightbright. But when we were watching, Lightbright wasn't even in the rig with him. He was by himself. <laughs> yeah, they were probably just outside walking around. That rig probably drives itself at this point. People have just come from all over the world just to see this event. We are all so lucky here to be a part of.
right next to Josh. Go just a little further back. A little further back. Thank you. Absolutely, it's just been a blast to be a commentator, meet so many cool people, just see so many people out having fun, enjoying these trucks, even if you're not driving, I know you people are all great drivers in your own right, you're hobbyists, you're fans, it's just so fun to see everybody out here and oh, enjoying this great event Matt put on for us. I gotta get the all blast. Right. We've got one more thing here, we're gonna, everybody's gonna drive right here, then we're gonna head back to the, the vendor area. What's that? I was telling them to listen up. Oh yeah, okay, so we're gonna be doing the shoot in no particular order. And then we're heading back down there to the vendors area and checking the out some of the record poles, all that stuff. Let's do this. All right, all right. let's do this thing. Let's make it happen, guys. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Who's going first? Drivers. Who's Drivers going first? Your okay, we got to clear this. We'll call it here tribute. All right. You gave first, you last. You going blindfolded? How are you going to clear, clear this, though? So. I want to put those. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. okay, you're going halfway. See all those ropes there? Oh, I need to halfway. very comfortable and then of course with him guiding me I'm like he has a lot of experience and I learned a long time ago there's no substitute for experience right. at all and um, we're almost very comfortable with everything I love every second of it and the Jeep that, that Jeep makes everything easy oh yeah that, I when, I, when I heard the short time frame to build up, I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> when I looked at it, I'm like, this looks pretty good. Yeah. Then when you see it come to the truck, oh, the right people were building that Jeep. <laughs> so, there, yeah, there's two fresh builds out here today. Robbie's Jeep. Yeah. 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 Rock Star, it's never been on rocks. It went, we took it to King of Hammers, and that's it. Yeah. It did, like, a, a two little short trail. Yeah. He just did it unspotted. <laughs> That's pretty dang cool. Uh -huh. At least something I built. I knew yours would make it. <laughs> that was awesome. We're going to What? Everyone's doing it. They're parting ways. Nope. No particular order. We've had enough rules for one day. Where's our mic? We need those mic shoes right up there. Oh, no, it If one person, Full throttle if battery, one person the fires highest up quality up. AGM batteries on the market today, with applications covering any and all your recreational, commercial, or domestic vehicle needs.
when conditions demand peak performance, make sure you start your next adventure with a full throttle battery. Did you know that women account for 40% of all power tool cells in the U.S.? Yet look around, there is no real power tool line designed specifically for us. That changes right now. The male-dominated industry would tell you that pink equals power. It can't even finish it out like nothing. Lighter in the hand, but heavy on performance. That's our promise. Join me and rise up in power. Order your Athena Drill today. Oh, yeah. In the heart of Utah's bustling, ever-growing economy, there's one name you can rely on for all of your waste management needs. IGotPoop.com. From portable toilets to septic services, pipe bursting, potable water delivery, IGotPoop.com is your one-stop waste management solution. No matter the size of the job, our dedicated team goes above and beyond to resolve your issues in a timely manner. We understand that time is money, and that's why we push the limits to ensure your project stays on track. But don't take our word for it. Our satisfied customers speak for themselves. So when it comes to waste management, remember, nothing is impossible with igotpoop.com. Contact us today to learn more about our comprehensive services. There it is, it is the Off-Road Games 2024, brought to you by Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Colt, you're excited because where are we right now? They are getting ready to, Matt is actually getting ready to put James up the chute, and the chute is a legit, you know, it's the end of this trail, and it is like taking off in a ship. I took you up at yesterday in the S10, what would you think about it? Uh, you know, I, the underwear situation wasn't perfect, but it was okay. I'm not kidding. It's at least an 80% grade. It's almost straight up and down. It's steep. You know, it's fortunate that here in Sand Hollow, the traction is really good, but it has got to be nerve wracking, never doing any of this before. I mean, what they drove up has been great, but at this point, going up the chute is a totally different, totally different feel. All he's seeing right now is hood, and he's probably worried in his head, I guarantee he's thinking this thing's not it's gonna backflip it won't but it feels like it let's see here James is going for it slowly but surely and again you cannot tell but this is he's made it it is a straight up and down and he made it he had a smile on his face like he wasn't nervous but I'm telling you what I did this yesterday very nervous oh it was a nervous smile for sure but he did great good job James that was a that was a good climb you know to do that it's got to be a little nerve-wracking driving towards the heavens uh, I think it would be perfect if I just flopped it over right now <laughs> but yeah man what a way to end this awesome awesome trail Love so it. cool dude now 
They gave every one of these YouTubers the option. They do not have to drive the chute. In fact, if they don't feel comfortable, the off-roader can jump in and drive the chute. So it's not, it's not a choice that they have to do it. It's up to, it's up to the person in the seat if they want to do this, especially just because there is, this is probably the highest risk to reward obstacle out here. If you mess up here, it could be bad. Good job, Marcus. Now that's Marcus, Marcus Fox. That was the lucky winner that got on the app during a previous live stream and won an all expenses paid trip to be out here and to get to drive the banana. Yeah, the banana had no problem with the shoot here. All right, who's coming up next? It looks it? like Mr. Build It. Awesome. Yep, that's <laughs> Mr. Build It and yeah, Kevin and Brittany's that was vertical. Jeep, the light bright buggy. What are your thoughts on that? I'm pretty excited to see how well he goes. I'm sure he'll go up. It doesn't seem possible. I would have tried to but convince him to even take bonus. There's a bonus it. buggy that's line, awesome. which they yeah. might try to do right after this this climb. There's a climb beyond it that's uh, pretty hair raising for sure. gonna go for it well now that, he's, now that he's making the corner and he's getting a chance to actually look at it you can tell he slowed down a lot he's definitely second guessing himself at this point <laughs> now when it comes to this cold is this something you have to take slow you don't have to go fast up this now if we were in the east you know the southeast especially uh, it's real slick out there. You would have to give it all the beans. You're gonna have to put it to the floor and, and get up the hill. In this case, you don't. You can actually just let that thing pretty much idle right up, the, right up there. It's really more about tire placement and nerves. Right he is there definitely like the sitting speed. there though. Right, is, I'm sure he is second guessing his throttle. life choice. You gotta climb right the front tires. All right, turn a little left as you climb up. Yeah, left, left, right there. All right, keep climbing. Yep. All right, slowly but surely, he's gonna hit the chute okay, here. He is inching up, but he does have right Brittany there. spotting him through right. it, Brittany telling him where climbing. he needs to put his tires. Right. The, right, the biggest throttle. thing is just trying not okay. to let him fall perfect. into the crack, yep. especially in the back, back right. side there. Perfect. Perfect. What you, yep. Your goal when left. you're climbing anything right out here in Sand Hollow okay. is keeping your rear axle level. Left. Left. That's left. what you really want to do. If you can keep the rear axle as level as possible, your rig is going to stay as stable as possible. So you, a lot of people always think they want, when they're driving up stuff like this, they're always worried about running their front tires. They're always worried about their front tires. Everybody that I ever see driving vehicles, that's what they're always paying attention to. They never think about the rear. When it comes to actual rock crawling, you, that's probably the number one thing you need to pay attention to is where are the rear tires going to end up if I drive up it at this point. And if you can keep that in your back of your mind when you're driving, it's going to help your rig stay so much more stable, and it's going to make you a much better driver off-road. Well, it looks like Alex, Mr. Build It, he made it up the chute. He did it. This is the grand finale of the entire trail right Right there. Straight now. Perfect, dude. Dude, yep, you're good. Right there. Ease up. We're almost to the bottom. You're good. Ease off the brake. You're fine. You're fine. You're good. You're good. You're good. Keep it right there. All right. All right, I'll stop real quick, Alex. I'm going to quit torturing you. You can take the blindfold off, dude. Oh my God, that was the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> you did an awesome job talking to me. You did good. Oh my God, that was People crazy. People don't realize when you're blindfolded, you have no sense of depth, of speed, of elevation, of braking, like nothing. You're steering how you're steering. You, you're just in a void and it, it takes away all of your senses and it is really difficult, especially when you have no idea who the person giving you no, direction is. No. You got it. Oh, yeah! That was awesome!
I love it. Well, this is an amazing Jeep. I think we can do it. Let's find out. Yep. <laughs> Piece of cake. I love it. Good job. Nice and short. <laughs> you noticed when Lightbright went through with Mr. Build It, he was blindfolded. Yeah, I think he, that's probably why he was going so slow, but at the same time, I think it's because he was just scared and he didn't want to see what he was driving up. Okay, so now we've got the truck that's gonna be climbing this. What do we got, Ford? That is bent off road. So they've been in recoveries for over 24 years. They snapped it. They stepped in to fill in a spot here. That's a 7.3 diesel. It's got a Holmes 440 record boom on the back. Everything else is pretty much stock other than they put ARBs in the axles. So they got the air lockers in it and they actually even brought a backup Land Cruiser with a four inch old man emu lift. And I'm gonna say emu because I'm American and everybody from Australia gets mad at me because oh, it's pronounced it? That's awesome. Emu. You love it? Yeah. <laughs> here so they you know I it this really does not do it justice it looks like they're climbing it so easily no big deal but this is almost like driving your car straight up a wall yeah it's huge it's a lot bigger than people think and when you're down there at the bottom staring up at it it is tall it is extremely tall it's a you know two-story building easy two three-story building that you're driving up when we were when we did it yesterday you get pushed back into your seat. It's almost like you're taking off in a rocket ship because all your weight is pushed back. It's pushed back and it's hard to, it's hard to, to even realize that watching it on, watching it here on camera, what it's like. Oh, it's a great place to stop in the middle and take a nap because you're, you're laid on your back. Yeah, you could just take a nap right in the middle of that thing. I don't know how your vehicle would hold up running at that angle, but you know. You want to get through it a little quicker, I think, than that. But here comes Robbie and Weston. I think this is going to be, could be entertaining. We'll see. I guarantee Weston's nerves are probably up there. You know, he hasn't done anything like this. He's done a very mild amount of four-wheeling, and it really, it really shook him up. So doing this, I guarantee he's, he's got to be up there in the nerve level. Well, Redneck Science coming in here and I just hope he just sends it and we see something crazy right here. <laughs> I think he's just going to be happy to be up it. Got it. No big deal. Yeah, he walked right through that. <laughs> he's got to be happy. You I'm can scared. see he's happy. He's <laughs> I'm still. still scared. I don't that know awesome. how I made that. Where it was effortless. Now it was the easy. driver, 10% vehicle. <laughs> well, you know, the 10% of this vehicle has been fantastic. It was awesome. It was Love absolutely it. fantastic. Good job, dude. All right, where do we go from here? So it looks like they actually have, uh, Robbie brought the Bronx Star too. So that's got to be Hillbilly back there in the Bronx Star. But I guarantee you after this, Weston is probably going to be trying to convince Robbie to put a supercharger with nitrous or something on that on that uh, Jeep of his. I'm surprised. We don't have a name for it yet. Well, I'm surprised Weston didn't bring the thousand horsepower lawnmower that he made to take it up the chute. Right, that'd be funny. Another one, and who's this? That is Hillbilly. That's uh, that's uh, one of Robbie's guys driving the Bronx Star. They took a Bronco too and turned it into a rock crawler. Everyone's loving Weston here on our comments. Send your likes, send your comments out. Tell us who you loved seeing in this event and, and that we need to have back here next year. 
Yeah, definitely. We want to know who you guys want to see, who you want to see next year, if it's new or the same, along with, you know, any of anything that you think should be different. I mean, you got to remember, though, too, we got to give a lot of a lot of props to the camera crews out here and the sound people that are really doing the best they can. You got to think this is harsh desert wind. Uh, the weather hasn't been super cooperative and what they're what they're creating here is actually pretty epic. So again, make sure you download the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app because soon when we're done here, this stream on YouTube will be done for the day, but we're gonna have so much more stuff going on on the mobile app. You're gonna be seeing interviews with the YouTubers, with the drivers, everybody. We're gonna be seeing their boots. We're gonna be seeing a whole lot more behind the scenes action. So make sure you download the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app. on that one for like 10 minutes. Yeah, this is all, well, we can get on it. I mean, I don't know, at the end of the day, why don't you get on it? If you can't make it up, pull back up. It's going to be a blast tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we actually have Ed, Ed Vinwicky with Bleep and Jeep. We're going to have Seth Burnpeak with Rudy from Rudy's Adventure and Design. Dan from What's Inside with Holly Mischief Maker. Devin from Legal Eagle with Marvin uh, from Flex Rocks and Rollovers. And then that's when Laura Farms will be up with Rory Trailmater. And behind them we'll have Kendall Gray and Caitlin is going to spot him in her buggy. And then Scott, driver 61, a Formula One driver, is going to be driving Nate from Dirt Lifestyle's Samurai Buggy. So it looks like, so it looks like, like these guys are still struggling to kind of get through this. This obstacle is right after the shoot, and it can be a bear if you don't know the line. Now it looks like just the Peck brothers are attempting this one, though. <laughs> yeah. They got them big old swampers. They're going to try it for sure with all that motor. There it goes. Up and over. It's just that easy. So this is happening at Sand Hollow down here in southern Utah. We're, we've been having so much fun with the off-road games. It is happening today. It is happening tomorrow. And, and the finals are Saturday. And it's going to be right here. You can catch us on YouTube, but also on Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app. 
My team, my spotter didn't think I could do it. He wanted to take over. <laughs> I needed one more shot, and that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Lots of fun, great time.
we're here and we're watching Hillbilly try to climb this thing and I don't know if he's gonna make it, man. Yeah, that thing barely runs in real life. It 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 looks cool, it looks really cool, and it is a neat rig, but that motor was not in, in very good shape, and so I don't know if he's gonna make it or not. But we are done with the live stream today. So if you guys want to continue on this live stream, you would definitely want to get onto the app. So the app from this point is where you're going to see everything going forward. And it's going to be a little more relaxed. It's just going to be all the background stuff. They're going to keep it going. You're going to be able to see the record polls tonight with all the other YouTubers that are going to show up. It's going to be really cool. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you go download that app. You can get a lot more. You're going to get the behind the scenes stuff. That is the Matt's Off-Road Recovery mobile app totally free you can watch the stream there you can comment and again if you want your favorite youtubers to make it into the championship saturday you got to vote for them and this is how you're going to do it it is strictly number one that is james number two weston and robbie uh, number three todd that's project farm and eric from bsf Number four, you got Sean from Bikes and Beards. He's with the Peck Brothers. Number five, Cor or Craig, the bearded mechanic, is with Off-Road and Chill. Number six, Alex, that's Mr. Build It with Lightbright. And number seven, Brent, Ghost Town Living and Bent Off-Road. Yep, Brent Bent. <laughs> So, yeah, get on there, vote for your favorite team that you want to see on Saturday, and then tomorrow is going to be a whole new pile of YouTubers. So you're going to see a whole different group of people trying to take on the trail, and then we'll see if any of them want to tackle the shoot at the end. It's going to be fun. So all of this is going to be happening. Tomorrow's going to be even better than today. If the wind let ups and the and the wind lets up and the weather allows it, we've got the drones, we've got different cameras. This is going to be so much fun tomorrow. So again, we're ending this one on YouTube, but we're going to be live on the mobile app. So go download it. Matt's Off-Road Recovery, the mobile app. You can catch it right now. Thanks for watching.